Hello class, good morning. Uh, today, we will have a short lesson on the topic of globalization, which is part of the course or the subject, uh, the contemporary world. So, when we talk about globalization, we are focusing mostly on uh, international trade between countries, uh, which is uh, normally considered as free trade or trade that is not restricted by uh, taxes or quotas. So nowadays, trade is one of the things that is said to be fueling the ever-increasing uh, globalization of the world. Uh, in other words, it is making or helping countries to become integrated with one another socially, culturally, and economically. So, th that is globalization. It is said to be part of our everyday lives. So, when you look at your clothing, uh, you look at your phone, you look at the appliances in your house, most probably it is located or was manufactured in another country. So, either USA or uh, let's say China, etc., etc. It is said that we are living in a global age. So, in other words, uh, we are more interconnected now with other countries, not only our neighboring countries in Asia, but also countries even in other continents like the USA, Europe, etc. And mass media serves as a bridge. Uh, so mass media, uh, you have television, uh, social media, uh, internet, etc., etc. Those things help bridge the different countries together. So what is globalization? Some people link it to progress, development, and integration. So, in other words, those countries who are experiencing globalization, they are progressing, developing, and integrating with one another. Distances are shortened, things move closer, leading to mutual benefit. So, when you see distances are shortened, uh, the trade becomes easier, immigration becomes easier. This is mutual benefit to those uh, people who uh, benefit from globalization, or those who are working abroad, or even those who are working here in the Philippines who get jobs due to those uh, global or transnational corporations who open or invest in the Philippines. They, open, they often have jobs here. However, not, not all is positive. Some say this is linked to regression, colonialism, and destabilization. In fact, someone here named Martin Kaur, he is a member of a organization, he regarded globalization as nothing more than colonization. But what is globalization? Uh, what, is it, uh, what is its definition? Globalization is the process of international integration arising from interchange of worldviews, products, ideas, and culture. This is brought about by advances in transportation, telecommunications, infrastructure, including the rise of internet. So those are some things that have led to globalization truly becoming um, globalized or allowing countries to become integrated on a global scale. Uh, so here is just a definition from Merriam-Webster's dictionary. It says here, it is the act or process of globalizing, the state of global, being globalized, especially the development of an increasingly integrated global economy marked by free trade. So take note guys, free trade, free flow of capital, and the tapping of cheaper foreign markets, foreign labor markets. So those are very important things when it comes to globalization. Free trade again, when you say free trade, there is not uh, any restrictions to trade. So, walang quota, walang tariff. Uh, free flow of capital. So, countries are more or less willing to invest in other countries. So, let's say the Philippines. Philippines is always open to foreign investors to set up their um, factories here or their uh, headquarters or maybe a branch in the Philippines. Uh, for example, they can tap the cheaper labor market in the Philippines. So, as we know, uh, Filipinos, we are not that, you know, the peso is not actually so expensive compared to other countries where you have the dollar, the euro, etc., etc. 
So, relatively, it will be cheaper to produce products here in the Philippines. We have two classifications of the many different definitions of globalization. It is either broad and inclusive or narrow and exclusive. So when you say broad and inclusive, this includes variety of issues dealing with overcoming traditional boundaries. So itong mga definitions, they focus on overcoming traditional boundaries. Uh, however, class, it is more vague. Hindi siya masyadong defined. So an example of this is globalization is the onset of the borderless world. So from that definition pa lang, it overcomes the boundaries ng ano, uh, borders. So when you say borders, let's say between the USA and Mexico, may border dyan. Uh, normally, napakahirap pag-travel from one border to another. Pero nowadays, due to increasing immigration, increasing number of jobs na na-offer sa mga Mexicans, it's easier for them to travel to the USA for job opportunities and vice versa. Siyempre, si USA, it would also want to tap uh, the, mark, the cheaper labor market within Mexico. Another, uh, the other one is narrow and exclusive. That is the other definition. When you see narrow and exclusive, these definitions are more justified. So there is more basis in real life. And they can be seen though as more limiting. So hindi lahat pwedeng magkaroon nitong um, globalization na sinasabi or benefits ng globalization. So this definition is example of a narrow and exclusive. It says here, the characteristics of the globalization trend include the interna internationalization of production, new international division of labor, new migratory movements from south to north, the new competitive environment that accelerates these processes, and the international internationalizing of the state, making states into agencies of globalizing world. So, napakaraming iba-ibang definitions yan, pero uh, it is seen as limiting kasi not all countries are able to do that. Maraming poor countries nowadays na hindi nakakapag-sabay uh, sa globalization. So that is why you could say this is narrow and exclusive. It only falls to those countries na kayang gawin yung mga bagay na yun. Next class, we will talk about some of the metaphors commonly used. Uh, one of them is the solid and the liquid metaphor. When you say solids class, we're talking about a barriers. Solids or solidity is in reference to barriers which prevent or make movement difficult. So this includes man-made barriers as well as natural barriers. And these have a tendency to melt. Uh, when we say man-made barriers class, those were the ones made by the people. They can be physical barriers like uh, mga fence, border fence, mga wall, uh, like let's say for example Great Wall of China. Or pwede rin yan imaginary barriers like let's say uh, yung mga nine dash line sa China. Si China nagsasabi siya meron daw nine dash line in the South China Sea which says non that part of the South China Sea is sa kanila. Which is wala naman talagang linya doon. Walang physical na linya doon. It is just a imaginary line uh, na nasa ano natin, nasa map. And natural barriers. When you see natural barriers, yan yung mga found in nature. So, pwede yan mga oceans, mountains, etc., etc. So, yan class example is the border patrol between Mexico and USA. May physical na wall na ginagawa, pero meron din wall dyan na ano lang, hindi masyadong enforced. So, it's more of a imaginary line din daw. Yan, uh, the Great Wall of China. It was made by the ancient Chinese para keep out yung mga invaders na gusto sakupin si China. When you say naman class liquid, that uh, is the increasing ease of movement of people, things, information, and places in the world. This is in continuous fluctuation. So, pwede isang araw maraming movement. Isang araw naman limited na yung movement. It all depends sa mga government. Sila kasi nag-decide if pwede kang mag-move from one place to another or mag-trade from one place to another. Ang liquids na to, they tend to melt whatever is in its path, especially solid. Pag isang country class nag-open ng immigration to another country, posibleng mag-follow naman yung other countries. Let's say sa Europe, for example, if a European country, uh, let's say Sweden, opens uh, its doors to immigration for Filipinos, 
malakas din yung chance na mag-open din yung Norway, uh, other countries within Europe. Kasi na-apektuhan sila. Or they want to also access the immigration from the Philippines. Uh, na- last class is the concept of flows. So, pagiging liquid ng anong mga bagay, uh, the actual process na kung saan siya nag-move from one place to another is called the flows. So, there we have the flows of the people, the things, places, and information. So, yung people, yung mga migrants yan, class. When you say things naman, yun yung mga bagay na we want to trade. Uh, so, yung mga goods, yung mga services, places. When you say places, yan yung mga nag-open na bagong... Uh, branch ng isang place, let's say si McDonald's, they open new branches of their fast food chain all around the world. And last class is information. When you see information, uh, yan yung mga culture, religion, mga beliefs ng mga tao na nagta-travel abroad. Uh, they, they often bring that with them. So again, yung mga migrants, for example yan, migrant yan, they are people who want to travel from one country to another, either for Uh, pleasure, which is yung pag-travel for uh, personal enjoyment or pag-travel din for work. So, pwede din ikaw mag-travel abroad for work. So, yun nga, immigrants, immigrations. Uh, sa USA, minsan class, they do not want immigration or immigrants, lalo na si Trump kasi gusto niya ang mga trabaho doon daw is for the Americans kasi marami din Americans na walang trabaho sa USA. Pwede rin tayo mag- exchange or mag-trade ng information or ideas. Uh, so, may mga political ideas, etc., etc. For example, Black Lives Matter. Uh, lumabas yan nung namatay si George Floyd. Uh, all around the world, napakaraming protesta laban sa racism in USA. And last class, you could also consider COVID daw is one of the things na nagkaroon ng malaking uh, flow from one country to another. Halos walang country sa mundo class na hindi siya affected ng Uh, COVID-19 na virus which originated originally sa China. Pero dahil class, napakaraming trading na nangyayari sa China, napakaraming seaports, napakaraming nagdadaan dyan na tao sa China nag-spread yung virus ni COVID. So class, that is the end of the lesson. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you understood something. Goodbye class.